Hey guys, it's Yotaberry here, and uh, I know I haven't been on for a while, but I'm back, and today I'm doing a review and a look at what's in the box of the Doll Boutique book, which is a new activity book that came out in a February release. I've looked around on YouTube, but I haven't seen any of these yet, so I thought I would do one. So let's get started. So as you can see, it's a really thick book. It's a lot bigger than the other one, I haven't got a hand to show you. But we'll start with the book first. So, double is all clothing and shopping and stuff. Trying to get all this in the camera. Got the craft with care. Then the store decor. And I really like their idea of using like plastic cubes for chairs, so I've actually already ordered some chairs and I'm going to try that out got dressing area kit creation, so she'll be showing you the stuff that comes with the book dress design, this helps like using like sleeves of a dress to make, um, of a top to make a dress Lots of glamour. She's so again using that kind of thing again. So it's like maybe you can like sleeves to make like long dresses. <coughs> Cruising blues. <coughs> Excuse me. She based this. I think most of the dress ideas are pretty much the same thing, just like using a sleeve. Two different ideas. Good. You need to be like um, unique ones. Hats. Different types of hats. Bags. I like that one. And then that's pretty much it for the book. So we'll get started on what comes inside. So it's the first thing you can see is two American Girl shopping bags which are doll sized and they're adorable and the next thing is the receipt pad if that'll focus no it won't <laughs> so um, that's basically like um, it's just like the order pad from the doll dining kit but obviously for a shop We've got some stickers. Got some more. These are really hard to see, even when you're right up next to them. Which like pale butterfly stickers. So there's those colours and then there's little butterflies on them. A sheet of spending, two sheets of uh, the brightly coloured money. And these are like posters for the shop, so I'm not afraid to be different. And these I assume are meant for like wallpaper or stuff because there's two sides to them. Oh, and the um, I'm not afraid to be different one says um, styles your own unique approach on the back as well. And there's some like modeling shots in black and white. One, then there is that one. I can post some clearer photos of these ones if you want me to, just let me know. This one. And this one. A bit confused to why some of these items are retired when this only came out in February, but oh well. <coughs> and these are like little magazines to make, like doll hobby doll adventure doll travel and the magazine for friends and then like gift cards so um, a petite boutique AG gift card 
debit card and the top one says petite boutique again which really pales since showing up they were like loyalty cards or debit cards and gift cards and such they're really nice I think this is all of the pieces and I guess these pieces think, make a chandelier when you're done so when you put them together so I'll show that later once I've put that together with my sign my petite boutique then there's the bright one I've got different signs here one says dressing room one says open one says grand opening and then dressing room closed and grand opening it's got different designs that's a pain to get out We've got stencils, these are um, really hard to see, but it's flowers and circles. Oh! And they um, punch out and glue together the laptop, which looks really fun. I'll show that later. And then um, there's a big teal cardboard piece, and sort of like a um, rounded triangle shape. I assume the book will tell you what that's for, because it doesn't say anything on the back. Oh, loads of cardboard in it. We've got some more big coal pieces, which are assumingly for the magazine. And then we've got whatever this is. Sort of bend out cardboard piece. I'm a bit confused by that. My bit's point that it didn't include any, like, um... Like a, a hat form or anything like that, because it makes quite a big fuss about the hats. So anyway, I will put together the chandelier, try and find out what the uh, cardboard bits are, and put together the laptop, and I will show you those in a few minutes. Bye! Okay, so I've made up the chandelier and the laptop now. So here's the chandelier. See, it's um, just all set it together for the moment, and I'm getting that up later. If you just like hang that in the uh, display. The um, book recommends that you sort of have a trifold poster board, sort of set up on the display. And then we've got the laptop here. It folds and opens. Just an American girl on the front. And it's got a keyboard. And I checked the book, and the green triangular piece is meant to be a tabletop. So if you just punched it out and stick it on like a little top or something as a table. And this is meant to be a clothes rack. So you put you glue this onto your poster board, and then put a dowel through. Now I would hope that they've included some coat hangers with this. So I assume that it will fit the uh, official American Girl hangers. So I'm actually a little bit disappointed with this set on the whole. Um, it just seems like it could have included some more useful stuff. It doesn't seem like you really got a big piece. You know, unless you really want to count the two cardboard bits. But, um, yeah, so um, it's not bad. I think it's more suited to younger kids, though, definitely. But anyway, so um, I have got a couple more videos planned, and I have also got a giveaway planned. So, uh... I'll see you guys soon. Bye.